Hi guys, welcome back to Amnesia. This is Epsilon, and this is episode 3. I think... I'm not sure, but I think I figured out what I need to do. And that took far longer than I would really like to admit. Luckily you all didn't have to see it. <laughs> so let's begin. Really? Is it? Let's get it there. And of course, we immediately start with a flashback. <laughs> You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. He's right. I mean, I assume. Of course, there's a way in. I can see it. <laughs> I mean, I assume... Can I just, like, walk here and just push? Okay. Guess... Oh, I get it. Okay. Can I... Okay, then. Can I bust my way in here? Thank you! Alsat and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region filled with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the ham hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet, forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep appearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods, and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling deep inside the damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstrad. The well-known erudite visited Alstrad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records at the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstead, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy, sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. Here's the important one. <laughs> the Baron of Brindenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle near, nearby Altstead, and, like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one the Baron is in fact the one and same who came from the West over three hundred years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the co the vetted Order of the Black Eagle, Eagle alongside. Oh my God, I'm losing the ability to speak. And joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So, uh, this guy Alexander could be immortal. Is anyone here? Nope. Hey! Look at Orwell. Can I unlock this thing? 
He's like, nope. This one's rolling here. Key. Regarding the closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough for their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Mm. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brindenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore, therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first... Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be, it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Let's see, so there's crazy people locked up in the wine cellar. Good to know. I know something's gonna happen when I when I grab that key. I just know it. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. Well, although I suppose that was technically something, I, it's not quite what I had in mind, but okay. Did I check this? Yeah, I think I did. I the key to the wine cellar, so let's... Hold some tombs. What? Oh, okay. Why? D didn't I come through there? I, I saw that. Let's go the other way. <laughs> I don't want to chase the, the thing. Oh, goody. Goody, goody. I have to head towards the terror, not away from it. Fantastic. Did you go, sir? Did you go? Let's not play this game. to expect. I suppose I need to find the way out of here. I thought I went through the study, but clearly I was wrong. Oh, it was right here the entire time. So good at this game. The statues were praying, gazing into the dark, domed ceiling. Okay, well... Ow! Oh, that hurt. I think it hurt. I don't actually know. I can't tell. Um... Where's the wine cellar? It was that one. Yes. Um, so the flesh is growing. Don't know how I feel about that. It makes me really uncomfortable. Still nothing terribly scary has happened yet. Wine cellar. Oh, okay. It was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hanan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. In the darkness, I know, you know. I don't mean to be standing in darkness. I can't help it, there's no lights on the side of the door. And then I'm low on oil. 
So there are crazy people locked in here. Where did the tyrant go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> I find it unsettling that things dissolve after I break them. Something stepping around. Who right. I know there is something else down here with me. I know it. Uh, oh, just watch it. Sure, just just let the barrel hit you in the face. It's fine. What's that sound? Did that actually hurt me? You cut some bushes. It did. Ow. I wonder if I can kill you. I suppose nothing has actually hurt me yet so far. So having things that intentionally hurt me couldn't have killed me yet. Gains less than half. It's no oil. Okay, then I suppose there has to be another way out, right? Right? Maybe up? Maybe I'm supposed to go up? This is not another puzzle that I can't figure out. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. Of course, there's no light over on the side of the room. Some things. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss as to where to go. Hold down left, and I spent my moving. Push the direction you face. Oh, okay. Voila. Um. Eh, fuck it. Oh, okay. Dead people. That's tasty, I guess. Another flashback. Sip. 
surprise, people who summon dark beings within their homes and who may be a, a mortal beings themselves, probably not too keen on caring about their helpers. Grigia. My name is Wilhelm, House of Derek. Oh yeah, you're the guy whose contract we got. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brindenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I have been awarded with during my time as a soldier. Sorry, I think I hear my cats freaking out. What was that? I was to kidnap wealth healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. Oh, I'm a terrible person, and admit it. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brandenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned, up returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men were screaming, their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insults, insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer continue writing, apparently. So I have the Cuprite, Calamine, Aquaregia. There's one more thing. Op Operament? I think that's what it was called. So apparently the wine was poisoned and these men exploded, with their bones escaping their bodies. That's kind of horrifying. Is this map? It is! Convenient. No. Mad at you, door. Bad door. Okay. So we won't go that way. Means near stereo sight behind the darkness. Make sure to turn off your lantern if possible. There's an enemy here. Oh, I bet he's above me. Whims. Yeah. Don't see me. The hell's the ring double Oh, so that's it's a health potion. I'm going super crazy. It's really hard to see. I don't want to use my lantern. Something <laughs> will find me. And murder me. What happens if my sanity runs out? I don't actually know. But I need that. What was it? The operament? I can check, but I know it's called something. I know I'm missing an ingredient. I know it has to be down here. Somewhere. There. Oh. <laughs> Orpiment. Okay. 
Did that, did that help? Really? That restored all of my sanity? Sa sanity? Sanity? Picking up orpiment? Let's get out of here now. Please. Get back to the, um... He sat down by the cabash wall, gasping for air, sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. Let's get back to the laboratory, make that, um... Okay... Oh, good god! No! Ew. Is that hurting me? I think so. This is the laboratory. He was supposed to avoid the commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Oh, that's horrifying. Um, skip the laboratory, make that acid stuff, and then burn the flesh wall. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to tempt fate. Continue. Uh, let's see how we do this. Okay. Sure. Sure. It's doing it for me. Don't have to think about what goes where. Okay, let's make this soap detergent. Pot of acid. <laughs> just carry this around, it's fine. It's nothing, it's just a pot of acid. Oh, of course it did. Okay. Oh, and of course it put out my lights. Can I, like, I can jump pretty high. I think I can jump out of here. Eh. Eh. Okay, that was the wrong one. Nope. I do suspect I'm going to have to go through here, aren't I? No? No? None? Mm, okay then. Clearly I am wrong. I uh, don't really know where else to go. Yes, I do. Don't really want to, though. Go through here? No? Oh, okay. Uh, well, I suppose, actually, this is probably a good place to stop. Let's get into the light, though. Uh, so, next episode, we'll get out of here. We have seen our first enemy. I couldn't clearly tell what it was. Uh, so, like, leave a comment, subscribe, that whole thing you hear at the end of every YouTube video, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.